Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company and I'm going to show you how to do a button necklace. For this I'm using two cordings of two lengths of Griffin silk and size 8. You can use an 8 or a 10 preferably. I'm going to be using three different types of buttons and I'm also going to be using 6 OC beads. To start out I've taken the two packages of cording off the rolls and taken them out completely so the needle is at the very bottom of the, th of the thread. At the top where the needle is not, I'm just going to simply take the two pieces and I'm going to tie them in a knot. Oh. Got Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company and I'm going to show you how to make a button necklace. For this, I'm using three types of button and these are mother of pearl buttons and shell buttons. I'm using six OC beads and two packages of Griffin silk size 8. You can use an 8 or a 10 for this. What I've already done is taken my two pieces of thread off my rolls and with the needle at the very bottom, I'm going to tie a knot and tie the two pieces of thread together so the needle is on the other end. And this then will be one of my ends. You can make this necklace as many strands as possible. I'm just going to show you how to do it with two. What I'm going to do then is take my griffin needles and I'm going to put a seed bead over both needles. So there's going to be two pieces of cording running through my seed bead. And that brings the cords together. Next what I'm going to do is add a button on. To add my button, I have my two needles. I'm going to put one needle through my first button going one way from top to bottom and the other needle going the opposite way from bottom to top. And I'm going to pull so that the threads are going through the button. At the top hole of the button, I'm going to be taking my thread and needle, one through the top hole going one direction and one through the top hole going in the opposite direction. What this does then is allows both sides of the button to be used and they both look nice and the button's going to sit nicely on your necklace. I pull to the whole end of my griffin cording and at this point I can add another 6-0 bead over both sides of my needle I just gather my needles here. I like to pick up the beads at random, make it a fun necklace. I'm going to pick up a green one. Slide it down back next to my button. And then tie a knot. Just a simple overhand knot gathering both threads. You can choose to make the knots nice and tight next to the bead. You can make them loose. It's up to you. You can continue this fashion adding buttons and beads. You can leave space. You can do them tightly together. It's up to you for however long that you want it to be. Usually I like these to be multi-strand necklaces, so I'll do about three to six strands of the buttons with different shapes of buttons getting put in and all the different colors so it looks a little bit like a carnival necklace. And then at the ends, what I'm going to do is tie all my threads together at one end. And at the other end, what I'm going to do is put on a button and make the button my closure that just fits into a loop. And that's how you make a button necklace.